Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I got this TL200TP Tulum. Now, it's about $300 roughly. It says 200 amps. And it does have a TIG torch too, as you can see. I don't really like the cable. It's okay. It's kind of heavy, eh? Um, for me, I, I don't really care for it, but for the price, it's good. Now, I did do a couple other little videos on um, stick, or sorry, TIG, but I want to try this stick, and what I got is some 1 8 and uh, it's good. I'm going to use some Hobart here, 1 8 and I'm just going to run a bead on here. I'm just going to try it, and then I'm going to use some... Uh, what have we got? 532 Hobart. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try both and just show you guys what it'll do. If you're looking for something around 350 bucks or whatever, it's not a bad machine. So let's give it a whirl. And one thing you got to do, make sure that ground is right on where you're going to weld. You know, I'm just going to weld that plate for now. So what I would do is uh, clamp it right on just gives you a better ground you know you don't have to but it, it is better I mean it won't jump the arc then okay enough of that let's uh, let's get at the, the welding video you know what guys it's on the wrong polarity Can't believe after 40 years I did that. Ha! Huh. I'm gonna change that. Anyway, for you beginners, your stinger, which is positive, and your ground, which is negative. So your positive is usually red. I put them backwards, and that can happen. That's your stinger. And that noise you heard, that that's a straight polarity. It's backwards, and it makes that funny sound. So let's try it now. Okay, let's go. Not really impressed. At 140, it should burn no problem. It's burning, but it's got to be up. That's almost 150. Hundred and fifty there. That's quite a bit for one eighth. So that's what you get when you get one of these. Uh, sorry about the camera work there. One of these uh, cheaper machines, but it burns okay. Uh, for the price, what the heck? Just a flat weld. It's okay. Now let's try the 532. That's that's going to be up like at least 175. So let's do that. This says 200. It's going more on the stick. So on the TIG, it says it's a 200, but but on the stick, yeah, it's not even moving now. That's weird. It's like 160. 
It's not doing anything now. Now it's going. It only goes to 160. Something wrong here. I'm gonna shut it off, try it again. All I can get is 160 on it. Well, hmm, all right, let's just try 160. There was 160, 532. It ain't going. It ain't gonna work on that. One eighth is the only. Yeah. One eighth is the only way. One sixty is the max. If you put it on TIG, you can go up to two hundred. But stick. Stick weld, you're at 160, that's it. That's all you can get out of this. Even though it says 200 amps, right? But that's only for TIG welding. So if you buy it, you wanna do stick, you're not gonna get 200 amps on it. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And uh, just thought I'd share this little video with you. Have a good day. Pretty hot today.